we want to simplify and then solve. So PEMDAS, whoop, forgot the M, silly me, PEMDAS. Um, so remember, PEMDAS is for simplification this way. So simplify, simplify. Once you simplify, you can still use PEMDAS to solve. So you kind of curve around here and you, you just go backwards to solve. Um, so it is a little different. You shouldn't really have to go past parentheses or exponents there. That, that shouldn't happen unless, of course, you have something like x squared in your equation because you can't simplify that yet. But for right now, that shouldn't happen. So we shouldn't have to go past multiplication and division. So let's go ahead and kind of put this into practice, see what I'm talking about. So we have um, 2y plus 18 equals negative 4 times y minus 9, and that's the, the difference of y minus 9, which is why it's in parentheses. Um, all right, so we need to start with our parentheses here. We need to get rid of these. We need to simplify them. So I need to take this 4 that's being multiplied on the outside, and I need to distribute this. 2y plus 18 is actually simplified as far as it can go. There's nothing more I can do on this side. But we'll keep checking just to make sure. So negative 4 times y is just negative 4y. Negative 4 times negative 9. So now we have two negatives. That makes a positive. And 4 times 9 is 36. Um, all right. So now we're looking to see do we have exponents? Nope. So you know, we can kind of check it off. Uh, multiplication division, we do have multiplication on, on the left and on the right, but I can't really do anything about it on their particular sides yet because 2 times y is just 2y. Negative 4 times y is just negative 4y um, until we figure out what that variable needs to be. And then addition or subtraction, again, I do have addition here and here on both sides, but I can't necessarily do anything about it in the simplification step because I can't add that to a variable yet. I need to know what the variable is first. Um, all right, so now we can start on our solve. So we're just gonna kind of flip around and start to go backwards. So the first thing I come to now is addition or subtraction. And what I wanna do is look at what's being added or subtracted to the variable. Well, in this case, I have 18 added to the variable on this side and 36 added to the variable on this side. So I'm, I need to just pick one to deal with. It really doesn't matter which one I pick. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the 18, and I'm going to do the opposite. Since it's plus 18, I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides, okay? So I'm going to put 2y, 18 minus 18 cancels, we have negative 4y, and with this one, negative 36 minus 18, which actually gets me 18 again, right? So that's pretty fun when that happens. Why not? Do, 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 do. All right, so now I have a variable on both sides. So this one, it doesn't really deal with that too much in the addition and subtraction, but it is the same idea. I have a variable on both sides, so I'm going to have to combine those. So I'm going to take this negative 4y, and I'm going to add to both sides. So I'm not doing my division yet. I'm not doing that step. I'm just taking this whole 4y, and I'm going to move it to the left here. So now I have 6y equals negative 4y plus 4y. One's negative, one's positive, and they are identical, so they do cancel. And negative 18 just drops down here. Now I can move to multiplication or division. So I'm multiplying by 6 on, with the variable, so I'm going to divide by 6. 6 divided by 6 cancels down to 1. Negative 18 divided by 6 gives me negative 3. So now I know what y equals. y is negative 3. That's what it has to be in order to make this statement true because remember it's telling us it's equal and in order for these to be equal y needs to be negative three all right so we uh oh something went wrong in my calculations so let's see 2y minus 18 i want to make sure i didn't write anything down wrong negative 4 y minus 9 so i get negative 4y i get positive 36 Oh, why did I write that down as a plus? See, stuff happens. All right, so I'm going to go in with my pink here. This should have been a minus this whole time. So this should have been a minus. So I actually should have added 
this 18 to both sides. So I'm just going through and troubleshooting. What did I do wrong here? Um, so these still cancel out because I'm still doing the opposite now. But instead of 18, I'm going to end up with positive. Let's see, what does that give me? 14, 3, 4, 5, 54 there. Um, I would still do the same step here because that, that didn't have any mistakes on it. But instead of negative 18, this should have been positive 54. And we're still going to divide by 6 here, but instead of negative 3, I should end up with positive 9. So that's a pretty big difference there. Just an oops in one negative trickled through the whole problem like that. And then now my the difference is from negative 3 to positive 9. So that made a pretty big difference there, making that one little mistake at the beginning. And one thing to note is what we could have done is plugged in the negative 3 to both sides of the expression here to see if they were in fact equal because that would have shown me that that was not correct. Um, but checking it really quick with Alex also works. Um, sometimes we don't want to have to check it that way because we don't want to have to you know, go through an entire new problem. So it's just important you can go back and you can plug the pieces in um, and try again. But remember, mistakes happen and they are completely normal and that is how we know we are learning.